Hello everyone, welcome to the Mathematics in my channel. In this video, we are going to solve another interesting integral, integral from 0 to infinity dx over 1 plus x to the 1 plus square root of 2 uh, raised to the 1 plus square root of 2. So, how to begin? Well, uh, first, I am going to uh, generalize this integral uh, by taking uh, integral from 0 to infinity dx over 1 plus x to the m raised to the m then uh, for solve this integral uh, we can uh, take a substitution here we have x to the m so i'm going to take x to the m is equal to u uh, then we should differentiate m x raised to the m minus 1 dx is equal to uh, du then we can plug in limit uh, we know also 0 to infinity so 0 to infinity then uh, dx here we can isolate the dx we know dx is equal to du over uh, m times x to the m minus 1 x we know u to the 1 over m so we have u to the m minus 1 over m uh, then 1 plus x to the m so 1 plus x to the m we know u raised to the m okay then uh, we can uh, simplify a little bit so 0 to infinity uh, this m we know constant so we can write outside of the integral sign uh, and u to the m minus 1 over m we know u to the 1 minus 1 over m so in the numerator we can write u to the 1 over m minus 1 over 1 plus u to the m times du well uh, now we have uh, beta function so we know beta function integral beta of a b is equal to integral from 0 to infinity x to the a minus 1 over 1 plus x to the a plus b times dx okay then uh, to apply beta function uh, we should find the uh, a and b so here 1 over m minus 1 here a minus 1 so uh, we can uh, compare a minus 1 is equal to 1 over m minus 1 so we know a is equal to 1 over m uh, then here a plus b here m so we know uh, a plus b is equal to m and uh, b is equal to m minus uh, a a we know 1 over m therefore uh, we can write our integral is equal to 1 over m beta of uh, beta of a we you know uh, 1 over m comma m minus 1 over m then uh, we know the relation between gamma function and beta function beta of uh, m n is equal to gamma of m gamma of n over gamma of m plus n therefore here we can write 1 over m uh, gamma of 1 over m gamma of m minus 1 over m over here gamma of 1 over m plus m minus 1 over m 1 over m get cancelled uh, so we have gamma of m okay then uh, still we can simplify here m times gamma of m so we can write uh, here gamma of 1 over m gamma of m minus 1 over m over here we know m times gamma of m is equal to gamma of 1 plus m because we know uh, gamma of 1 plus n is equal to n times gamma of n okay then our integral uh, we know here uh, i so now we can write uh, here instead of m we have 1 plus square root of 2 so we can write uh, i is equal to i is equal to gamma of 1 over 1 plus square root of 2 times gamma of 1 plus square root of 2 minus 1 over 1 plus square root of 2 over gamma of 1 plus 1 plus square root of 2 okay <coughs> here if we multiply uh, here uh, both uh, numerator and uh, denominator by 
square root of 2 plus 1 uh, we know we have square root of sorry 2 uh, minus 1 we have square root of 2 minus 1 so here gamma of square root of 2 minus 1 times uh, here uh, if you take the common denominator here we have uh, 1 plus square root of 2 square minus 1 over 1 plus square root of 2 so if we simplify here 1 uh, this minus 1 get cancelled uh, then 2 plus square root of uh, 2 times 2 so 2 times 1 plus square root of 2 over 1 plus square root of 2 then 1 plus square root of 2 get cancelled so here we have gamma of 2 and in the uh, denominator uh, we have gamma of 1 plus 1 plus square root of 2 so according to uh, this identity gamma of 1 plus n n times gamma of n so uh, we have a square root of sorry 1 plus square root of 2 times uh, gamma of 1 plus square root of 2 uh, again uh, we can apply uh, this identity uh, for gamma of 1 plus square root of 2 so we have uh, gamma of square root of 2 minus 1 and gamma of 2 we know 1 uh, so here 1 plus square root of 2 times here we can write uh, square root of 2 times gamma of square root of 2 okay then we know uh, again uh, gamma of 1 plus n is equal to n times uh, gamma of n so instead of n now I am going to plug in uh, square root of 2 minus 1 so here we have square root of 2 minus 1 times gamma of square root of 2 minus 1 then 1 minus 1 get cancelled so here we have gamma of square root of 2 so here instead of gamma of square root of 2 uh, we can apply this part so we have gamma of square root of 2 minus 1 over 1 plus square root of 2 times square root of 2 uh, times 1 over uh, square root of 2 minus 1 gamma of square root of 2 minus 1 then gamma of square root of 2 minus 1 get cancelled and uh, here we have now 1 over uh, square root of 2 times uh, 1 plus square root of 2 square root of 2 minus 1 we know difference of uh, 2 square so we have 2 minus 1 we know 1 so the answer is 1 over square root of 2 okay if you like this type of videos please subscribe this channel thank you for watching